Hello everybody and welcome back to Nathan Adams Cars. Today we're going to talk about two different Subaru BRZ builds. We're also going to talk about a few other cars and something that really surprised me when it came to building your own custom car. In the making of this video, it all came together pretty nicely. A few of our friends came out and just wanted to check out these BRZs. So to start with, let's just check out the lineup here. We got a naturally aspirated BRZ on the right. We have a supercharged BRZ here in the middle. After that, we have this Mazda Speed 3 turbocharged four cylinder. And then we have the Audi S5 supercharged V6. Let's start with the naturally aspirated BRZ. The Subaru BRZ comes with 205 horsepower at the crank. This one, as you can see, has over 210 horsepower at the wheels. You might also notice the steady power band there for the torque line, which is because this is naturally aspirated. In fact, P-Tuning, who did this, uh, they did this dyno run, they say that this was the most powerful NA BRZ that they tested. Now let's take a look under the hood to see what modifications got us to this point. All right, so mostly it is an ECU tune, which is gonna help with the power here, as well as some of the exhaust components, which we'll go over. But just take a look at the way this engine looks underneath. Not only is the car black, with or the car is white uh, I, I can see that sorry <laughs> it has the black wheels though which is nice and so underneath to have a pop of color there with the red parent inlet tube there even the red uh, battery uh, secure device <laughs> is pretty nice now the parent strut the tower brace up front really helped with the, su with the suspension keeping the front end grounded so that you can steer which is always nice the rear end also has a tower brace strut helping to stabilize the suspension on all four corners. All right, so these aftermarket wheels are one and a half inches wider on each wheel. Also, they are a little bit lighter. So we're gonna take a look at these because each wheel loses four pounds of unsprung weight. That's a total of 16 pounds unsprung weight. It has wider, grippier tires, and it really helps with all the extra power. Now let's talk a little more about power because of the headers here and all of the exhaust components that have gone into this car, which looks super nice, also bring the total power up to 212 plus. Now, let's take a look at the second BRZ build. So this BRZ is a little different. First of all, it's black. Secondly, it is supercharged, which is more significant of a difference. Maybe? I'm not sure. But the point is that the builds are different. I'm going to include the list of modifications for this black BRZ, which looks super nice, below. Now let's talk a little bit about the surprise. The thing that surprised me when it comes to filming a video about a modified car. No, the surprise is not that my friend almost drove his S5 off the side of this parking garage. Although that would have been pretty surprising. But no, the surprise is that modifying your own car is not just about getting more power, making your car more capable, but instead, it doesn't matter if your car is supercharged or if it's naturally aspirated with a lot of other suspension benefits. It is all about the experience.
And what an experience this was. I want to say thank you to all the friends that came out because it was really fun shooting this video. You know, the friend with the white BRZ there introduced me to his friend with the black supercharged BRZ here, as well as his other friend who has a car that's coming up slowly. This guy, <laughs> he has a Mazda Speed 3, kind of cool. So a couple new friends in the works. And uh, besides that, also keeping up with some old friends with the S5. The reason this experience was so surprising to me was because the idea was just to really check out my friend with the white BRZ and all of the modifications he made. It was really interesting to me how you can express yourself with the car and kind of pick out what's important to you. And that was evidenced by the fact that so many other people came out and made it a great experience overall. So I would recommend it if you're interested in modifying your car to go ahead and do it. And another piece of advice, if you're interested in doing a launch, Turn off traction control first. <laughs>